This is the Stalker. Being able to pop around the screen faster than a YouTube vlogger, he's a nimble runner that is classified as striker, also being an interceptor subclass. Stalker is an incredible runner when used right, and I'll be explaining how to do just that. The first thing you'll notice is that his powers don't include a disc speed up. The mindset you'll need while playing Stalker or Smoke, who I'll cover next video, or any interceptor, is explained pretty well by their name. First up, let's cover his secondary ability. Stalker can make your opponents look like fools, and Stoppa pushes momentum entirely with his secondary ability. Cloak, which turns Stalker invisible, gives you the element of surprise. Use it to steal the disc out of the blue, or wait in a place they might shoot, like next to a wall. You're going to have to predict enemies' thoughts and study their patterns to make full use of this ability. While my cloak is on cooldown, and when the other team is closing in on my goal, I guard the support, or other striker. Stalker has the highest base movement speed, so he should be able to guard any runner without too much of an issue. Anyways, guarding the other enemy runner lets your striker focus on their striker. It also gives the enemy striker less flexibility, as he can't pass to a teammate. This will most likely force the disc out of their hands, and hopefully into yours. Now we move on to his ultimate, or primary if you prefer. Using his ultimate can seem disorienting at first, with the screen shaking. All I can recommend for new stalkers is repeatedly using it in matches. Stick with it because it has huge potential. Stalker's all about stealing the disc, so giving him the ability to teleport from a distance to steal the ball is huge. If you get skilled enough aiming and executing this, there is literally nowhere the enemy you're guarding can pass it off to without you snatching it up. Something I should have said earlier though, is that you can't teleport while holding the disc. A trick to learn is passing up, maybe off a wall, and teleporting to catch your pass. And don't diss his teleport and say Hikari's is better. They are very different and Stalker's is far more versatile. The implants I recommend you run on the Stalker in a match are Revenge for the first slot, Grab Range for the second, which makes steals a little easier, although I often exchange it for secondary cooldown which equals more invisibility, which equals more surprise. For the third spot, I put Synergic Movement Booster. I don't think putting it in team does anything to boost your speed though. Lastly, I put Teleport for the Claw. Besides being a staple nearly any runner can use, it adds to the unexpected stealing playstyle. This can also be used in situations where you can't cover quite enough distance in Cloak and you need to make a little extra to make the steal. Make sure to know that this is my preferred implant selection, and that you should experiment and find ones to suit your playstyle and your team's playstyle. The Stalker's synergy with other runners is kind of weird. He doesn't have a booster to the disc movement speed, so he's not the most powerful striker. You usually have to run another striker with him. He doesn't synergize especially well with either goalie, but if you are running him in a game with three forwards, I would recommend him being a more defensive, uh, goalie-like character, as he is actually kind of good at that. This has been Captain Greybeard, giving you an in-depth guide on how to play the Stalker. Please drop a like and subscribe, as well as supporting this awesome game developed by Spearhead Games.